Hello and welcome back to Atlas Coast Sailing. In this week's episode, we're in Port 11 and we're going to be sailing to the Isles of City, hopefully. As you can see, the weather is not amazing, uh, but we've got Marify down there ready. And uh, you'll see some clips from last night when we launched her at the slipway, which is just over there. And we were in that car park just over there. And I have a special guest, Tom Does Food Yay. on Instagram. So go check him out. Now it was a five hour drive to get to Port Levin. We arrived in the boatyard at sunset, we rigged her up and waited for the tide to rise high enough to get Marikai in the water. Me and Tom then launched her and I had to be on Marikai to motor her off the trailer and over to the very tall harbour wall. In the morning we picked up some Cornish pasties for breakfast, ready for the epic voyage we were about to undertake. The plan was to sail from Port Levin to St Mary's over in the other city. It's a little over 40 nautical miles to get there and the wind was about 16 knots with the wave height offshore a little over 1.5 metres. There are also shipping lanes across, but anyway, it's time to start this crossing. Right, we've just gone through the entrance and we're going out to sea. There's someone even in for a swim. That's brave. I was in that water last night and it's freezing cold. Right, we have left. 4th 11, uh, I've thrown up a little bit of head sail just to feed it out, left the motor on a little bit. I'm going to have my passy we picked up this morning. And uh, yeah, this is a sea state at the minute, not too bad. It'll be interesting when we get past uh, Land's End, see what it's like. Hopefully it's not too bad. Right, we've uh, mashed out for maybe like 20 minutes. You can see where we left off from, all the way back there. We've still got a motor on, about to turn off though. Because so I'm going to put in the head sail, the tiny bit we have out. Hoist a little bit of the main and get sailing and turn off this outboard. So you can see Penzance over there and Land's End is all the way over there, if you can even see that. You can see it on the chart bottom probably. There we are, little boat. Now, for the first part of this passage, Marikai was bouncing between four and five knots, with the wind on a beam and relatively calm seas. However, this was all about to change. Right. They're jumping like madmen. Those foods having a kip. Once we had passed Land's End, we were out in the open in just under two meter seas in my little 21 foot sailboat. We were jumping off the tops of waves and I was having a great time apart from the lack of an autopilot. Tom on the other hand had made a little mistake earlier on and uh, here's a little PSA from Tom. This is a PSA to remind you to take your seasickness pills at least an hour before sailing. You can just see the Isles of City in front of us. And you can see Land's End over there. So, not much further to go now, really. A couple of hours, if that. So, with two hours left to go on this 11 hour passage, I really wished I had bought a tiller pilot. 11 hours on the tiller is quite the experience, but it was definitely fun. This was also the biggest sea state I'd been out in with Merakai, and she did really well. The two meter waves did kill off some of the momentum with being such a small boat, but we still managed about four knots. The final stretch into St Mary's was epic as the waves had calmed behind the islands and I'd start to feel the accomplishment of hand sailing this 21 foot bathtub that I'd completely rebuilt with some help from friends 
40 nautical miles out to sea for 11 hours straight and finding these islands that I had set a goal to reach at the start of the season. Right, we've pulled up the sails into dead wind. We're gonna, I'm gonna pick the anchorage I'm gonna use, either that one there or one just around the corner there. Uh, but it might be one around the corner. Uh, so, yeah, let's get to the anchorage. Right, we've made it to Port Cressa, St. Mary's. As you can see over there. Silence. It's like eight o'clock at the minute. And uh, look at all these boats. Um, we're up front because we got the shallows draft. But we're at 2.4 depth. A little bit seaworthy. You can see how clear that water is. And considering there is no sun out because it's just grey. Look how clear that is. And that's at least three metres deep there. Epic. But yeah, I've got a, a boat to tidy up because we were bouncing and healing and it's half a pasty down there almost. So yeah, I've got a bit of tidying up to do. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get some hot chocolate on probably. And Tom is gonna do some tea. Tea for Tom. Right, it's the next morning. Got a little late last night. We're here. This is St. Mary's, as you can see. Beautiful clear water. But that's it for this episode and be sure to watch all the rest of them as I explore the cities. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.